All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment, that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion. All that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come to. So the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda Lamarche. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon hey. tonight. Well, there are a lot of feel-good stories in modern-day mixed martial arts, perhaps chief among them, the rise of Molly McCann, who not all that long ago had lost a couple fights in a row and wondered how much life she had left in this game. You fast-forward a couple years, she's won two straight fights, produced one of the best knockouts in all of 2022 with that back elbow, and now she's going to try to get her wrestling game going in a matchup that she believes is more favorable than the last few that she's won against. Well, how good is that counter? Her technique as good as any athlete in this division and certainly made her more well-rounded opponent pay there. She made her pay by landing something in the counter-striking realm. She is tremendous. I mean, she draws out your attack and then she counters effectively. Not many can do it as well as she does. Well, that's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Oh, right into Mount. Big grounding pound. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice grounding pound by McCain. Another
another strike gets through from the top position. Constantly a moving target. Lemos is in half court. All right, she's in the full guard here, DC. She's going to be looking to pass, try to get to the next position. Lands with the ground and pound. She continues to go here because it's working. Do not change anything. Arm and very tight. Oh, how good is that as she gets out? She is so aware on the ground, and she escapes a deep submission attempt. Midway through round one. McCann's back in full now. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Man, these women are putting on a show tonight. The crowd absolutely loving it as they make their way back to the feet. The crowd's going crazy because they just saw two high-level grapplers mix it up on the ground. It was phenomenal to watch. That was a big check. And there's a takedown attempt. Now another being thrown on both sides. She does a great job of getting that leg to the target. Beautiful leg kick. Another nice leg kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Uh, nice job by her there to land yet another takedown. I got to think at Gilroy High School Wrestling Practice oh. next week, they're going to be watching this film. I mean, we will show it. I will pull out the projector, put it up on the wall, and say this is how you secure takedowns in a big environment. The state tournament has nothing on what this young lady's going through. Oh, she's back in half court. And now she's in mount. This is a terrible position. She is reading things pretty well defensively as she's able to dodge that strike on the ground. She's got her eyes open and she's very aware of everything coming in her direction. All right, side control for her now. And you know how heavy she stays with all of that upper body strength. We'll see what she can do from here. Well, she's got great upper body strength, and that's why she passes, because she doesn't necessarily feel she needs the legs to control her opponents on the ground. So she goes to side control and hopes that you give your back. That's right. why you see she has so many rear naked choke submissions. I would never give you that. Don't give me that. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lemos? Back and forth we go. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lemos. That opened up a cut around her eye area. Got to shore up the defense. Yeah, she's got to move her head. She has not moved her head effectively. And now she's dealing with the cut. Oh, nice hook by Lemos. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Man, are these shorts mic'd up? Did you hear that inside leg kick? No, that is just... Oh, she is in real trouble. Lemos gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch in the head? Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, that hook sounds oh. means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. And in terms of offensive wrestling execution, she had it all going there. Yeah, she had it all working. She did everything she wanted to do. She was racing right, to right. position. Once right. she got to a leg, she didn't right. pause. She didn't stop. She went right to the finishes that she needed in order to get the fight to the ground. So fire there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. She lands, and she lands very effectively. Big body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, huge kick to the leg. There it is again. Look at that. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent at the beginning. Oh, how good is that? The driving punch lands plus to the head. Beautiful job on the ground. That strike.
Copeland are up. Nice shot there by the champ. Lemos is back into full guard. Man, she's making these ground strikes count. Nice guillotine to tip here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, she's out. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Meatball Mo. Oh, well, through no lack of effort, she still hasn't been able to get the submission. You gotta credit the defense at some point. Absolutely. This young lady is so present defensively when she's under attack. She never panics. She's so calm under pressure. She seems to be a person that can't be submitted. Side control now. McCann's right back to the full mount. That was a slick transition. Well, I'm not sure her hands, her striking has ever looked better. She continues to land with volume, with pace, with power. Yeah, with pace and pressure. It's it's an overwhelming feeling. What a massive strike from the top. She's about to get her opponent out of there. Well, a bloody mess it is not, but that cut is getting worse by the minute. It just keeps advancing because she keeps getting hit in the same spot. She has got to move her head. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Man, she just continues to land at will, and with every landed strike, seemingly her confidence is getting high. You know, you throw things, and then you hope to land them. As you land them, you start to go, wow, that worked, I'll go back to it. Every time she goes back to something, it's working again and again and again. And you see it, and you, and you see her confidence growing with every single strike that she lands. I mean, that's somebody's daughter. So I mean, her. so some respect. My goodness, I'd run into it. <laughs> Lemos is back in full guard. Oh, really good strikes by her here in top position. She has no answer, so continue to feed her the question. Right hand after right hand from the top position. Cans in half goal. She's stepping over the ball here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Meatball Mull. Oh, another ground strike lands, and her opponent really dealing with some swelling now. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Oh, she does a good job of recognizing that the shots are coming, and she's got to get out of the way. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lemos. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two. The crowd is What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the right side. So that she can evade her opponent for finishing her. Oh! Oh my goodness, her again. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, she's staying busy, continuing to land ground strikes. There's another one. Two rounds in the books. McCann's eye is closing up. All right, there's the end of the round. Multiple knockdowns for her in that round, and they may want to ask her opponent what day it is. It's Saturday. I'm not sure if she knows. She does not know it at this point. But, I mean, it's the ability to find the perfect shot by this young lady. It's no rush. It's no force. She's always doing things the correct way, but she's just landing exactly where she needs to land to put herself in the position that she finds herself in right now. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool, kind of shaking her head, thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over, but 
if you know her, you if fight? you spent any time Good. with her, you understand that she's Good. a smart fighter. And she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. Nice punch lands over the top. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. Get another one off to finish the fight. Oh! And misses with the right hand. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. Attacking both sides now. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now, as her opponent continues to turn the yeah, I mean, You are a, you have a, a fighter in front who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. What the oh, she's got head movement even off of her back. Huh? Nice slip up. She's being proactive. She's not sitting and waiting until her opponent throws. She's moving in advance, and it's allowing her to evade these strikes. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Going. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Great shot from the top position. like a potential submission attempt here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lemon. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. <sighs> Lemos's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. That was nice. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet. Man. Oh! Wow, is she applying a lot of pressure here. I'm not sure how much her opponent can take. Clear sense of urgency here as she tries to make sure the judges stay out of it. And again, she slips off the center line, avoids the contact. Great head movement, really, from her the entire fight time. Great head movement. You can see that in the gym. They got the rope tight. Oh! 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 Shoes left! She's getting up. Yep. All right, well, you can argue at this stage of the fight, she is too tough for her own good. Her eye is unrecognizable. I mean, she doesn't even look like the same fighter that she walked into the Alcorn as. She got cut very early, and it has just been an accumulation of damage that has put this eye in this position. Unfortunate, but this fight may be stopped very soon. Oh, big shots raining down. Great defense from her back. Hands back in full guard now. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Full side control now. Beautiful transition. Hands right back to the full mount here. Oh, man, another strike gets through. She is bloodied. She is battered. Referee might need to call on the doctor soon. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control, underhook, and get back to your feet. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job. Of oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness. 
goodness. That is as clean a knockout as you will ever see, and certainly the signature win of her career today. You don't get many like this. She said that she was going to knock her opponent out, and that is exactly what she did. What a performance. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Nico! All right, well, DC, I got to give you credit. You sort of foresaw this result tonight. We have a new...